In prior videos, I've been talking about the difference between slack and waste and the need to have extra resources. Now, the fact is everything fails and often things fail together, like availability zone in AWS might go down. And then you might say, I'll shift over to another availability zone, but so is everybody else right at the same time. You might not be able to get the, your resources. So what can you do? You know, you probably want to keep those resources sitting around on the side, even if they're underutilized or not utilized, right? But it looks like lower uh, utilization and waste, even if it's actually slack and something you're doing with purpose and intention. So let's talk about how I've approached that in the past. So uh, RDS Multi-AZ is has this system where you can have multiple databases and have automated failover where it's automatically you know copying the information from one database to the second one and they'll fail over really within seconds if uh, the availability zone goes down it's a uh, really an important important part of people's uh, infrastructure because if your database is gone you know you're you're down pretty much hard down so when I was designing Amazon Aurora, I did something different. I made the storage regional. So, you know, two copies of data in each of three availability zones. That meant that as long as I could get another database instance up, I didn't have to constantly replicate data to it because it was happening behind the scenes in the storage layer. And, uh, but I might not be able to get a second database instance because everybody else is asking for one. So what we do instead is, is that, yes, there'd be another instance available, maybe, but you know, that you could set up, but it would act as a read replica and you could divert read traffic to it rather than read write traffic. And so it wasn't just sitting idle, it was actually getting used for live customer requests and maybe letting you tick down the size of your instance. So that's an example of how you can better utilize these resources that you're keeping just for failover purposes, that you can use them for something else that can be stopped for a period of time. I have a friend who um, once used to run an entire second data center just in case the first one failed. That's super expensive. But, you know, at that company now, they actually use those resources and run AI modeling jobs on those systems. So because they can, uh, if the, uh, you know, if a region goes down, they can stop running those training models for a period of time, but, uh, and, you know, instead run user traffic on that. So that's a way that you can think about not having resources just idling, but instead doing background activity that is useful to you, but can be deferred when you, when shit hits the fan.